guys so I'm here with a collective haul for you these are just uh, different items that I've been accumulating over the past few months um, some stuff I got during like the Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales but I just wanted to kind of bring it all together in a video for you guys and show you what I've been loving so kind of have a lot of things here um, so I'll try not to take too long for this video because sometimes the videos can be a little long but I'll try to kind of speed through it a little bit so it's not too long but if you love long videos then you're at the right channel because sometimes my videos can be kind of long so first one now when it the weather gets cold and it's like the winter fall months like my I guess um cold weather wardrobe is like a leather jacket t-shirt and some like distressed jeans especially like blackish gray distressed jeans like that's like my favorite go-to kind of outfit so I saw this leather jacket um from express and the collar is removable which I'm I don't like the collar but if you do like the collar comes with this faux fur white collar and um it just kind of buttons on but like I said I don't like it so I'm just gonna cut these buttons off because I'm never gonna want that collar on there but I thought this was really cute. This is um, not real leather, but the quality is so good. It's like thick and it feels like really nice and cool. And I like that it has gold, um, gold zippers because the other leather jackets that I have have silver. And what I also like is that it's a little bit of a longer length. Like it comes up here. I've been looking at this for so long, but I just didn't want to give it and get it and then finally I got it and I really really love it um it's just like an alternative to wearing a leather jacket sometimes and I love once again that it has gold and black detailing because I love gold and black together and this is from Topshop you will see that I really love wearing black um pants or black anything or like especially blackish gray like distressed jeans like that's like my favorite um but these two pants, these are just, I guess, kind of like some leggings from Express. And they kind of have some detailing, detail stitching on the sides. And then the bottom have these zippers, which is a great piece to just go with just about anything. Next, I have these black jagger pants from Gap. I really love these. Um, you can wear this with anything, a leather jacket, jean jacket. Um, a sweatshirt and they have detailing on the knees and then on the zipper and they kind of taper down um, these are really cute because they're fitted but they're sweatpants but they're um, a little stretchy like leggings but they're just really comfortable like this would be great to wear I think I have a sweatshirt here to wear with that um, like to go to the airport or just something casual next these are two pairs of jeans um, I think one is from the Gap and one is from Old Navy if you are um, a little bit on the curvy side, like me, um, look at Gap for jeans if you haven't already. Their legging jeans and their resolution jeans fit really, really good if you um, have trouble finding jeans that like kind of fit your waist but also fit your curves as well. These are the ones from Gap and these are their resolution true skinny jeans and I love them. I think, I think they're the same ones I'm wearing now you guys can see but they just fit really good they're comfortable um i think i have the high-waisted ones on though these are not high-waisted and they have distressing distressing <laughs> distressing in the knees which i always love it just kind of adds like a little bit of an edgier look to your outfit and these ones are pretty similar but these are from old navy and if you are are into old navy um I know some people might knock Old Navy, but I find some really cute, like, basic things in there, especially my workout clothes. Um, Gap and Old Navy are where I love to get all my workout clothes. But these are just distressed as well, that color that I said I like. And if you're interested in the sizing, I wear a size 8 in both of these. But the Rockstar jeans from Old Navy fit really well if you want, like, an even more affordable version of some good jeans to fit like a curvier body even if you're not curvy these jeans fit really good but if you are curvy I know it's difficult to find jeans and these two work really well so this is also distressed distressed in the knees 
And then at the end, it kind of has some distressing. And I just got this little basic top from H&M. Um, they had like their Black Friday sale. And I thought this would be really cute with like some black leggings or black jeans and like a leather jacket on a day when I didn't feel like wearing anything like too fitted, but still wanted to be cute and comfortable. And then maybe like throw on a scarf. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really do anything too fancy. So I tend to gravitate towards more like casual clothes. I do get like um, dressier clothes like skirts and stuff like that sometimes, especially when I have, uh, like if I'm gonna be traveling or going away and I know that I'm gonna be doing like a lot of different things, that's when I will go and get those types of clothes. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it's just pretty casual. So I have a lot of basics and casuals here. But yeah, so this is just a basic, super soft, comfortable top from um, Gap and this is from their Gap body line. I've been just looking for like a really cute vintagey kind of t-shirt just to like wear with some like distressed jeans and a leather jacket and like some boots so I saw this one at uh, Target and I thought oh that's really cute and the bottom kind of gets a little longer in the back in case you want to wear it with leggings or something and I got this one in a medium as well normally I'm a small but sometimes certain materials I would like to get a medium like if it's kind of thin and clingy just because I feel like it just fits a little better but yeah from Target that was so cute I actually have a few things here from Target which I never buy clothes from Target but they had a lot of really cute simple basic pieces that I thought would be good to add to my wardrobe this one kind of has a it's sleeveless obviously has a higher neck and you can tell it's kind of ripped and when you put it on it kind of like fits to your body and it's split right here so this would look really cute I was thinking of wearing this with like some dark green like jeans or something that maybe the, the bottom like you have jeans that kind of stand out and you want to keep the top really basic um, this would be something that's good and this is from Express next I have this top I wasn't sure if I liked this. Um, this was another item that I got on sale at H&M during their sale. This was $10. And because I'm a little curvy at the bottom, it doesn't button down properly. But I thought this would be really cute because it's kind of longer. It's a longer button-up shirt. But I thought it would be really cute with like a tank top like this. And like some cute jeans and just kind of where it opened up. It's kind of like a cute summery kind of look. I mean, you could wear it now too, but... The colors kind of make me think of summer. Next, I just have these two um, tops from Express. This one, I mean, this is like their classic Portofino shirt, but this is the slim fit one that they recently came out with. And I just thought it would be good to have like a basic black one because um, I have like the original version that's a bit looser. But sometimes you need just like a nice basic black button up. So it was on sale, so I got it. And this one too, this is the classic style, I think, of the Portofino shirt. But I thought this would be really cute if I wore it tucked in with like some black jeans. So kind of like a cute, sleek, classy kind of look, but still colorful. And maybe you did this with like a neutral lip or like a red lip for like another pop of color. I just thought this made me think of, I don't know if you guys seen that outfit with Beyonce a while back. And she had like some shades on, um, but she had this like colorful button up shirt and some like cute high waisted jeans and some pumps. And I just thought it was so simple, but it was really cute, and so that's what inspired that top. Next, I have another button-up. This is the boyfriend top, but this is kind of like that distressed, kind of faded look that I like. Um, and this is green, and I thought this would look cute with like some distressed black jeans or black pants. This is um, just a basic um sweater dress that I got from Navy it was on sale and it fits really cute actually like it doesn't look like much on the hanger but when you put it on it's a little shorter and it just looks really cute like you could wear it with some heels or some boot next I have this other basic turtleneck but okay so I got this because I saw this picture on I think it was Pinterest and it was a basic cream um turtleneck like this with like some cute fitted black pants um, and like a tan coat and like some heels and I just thought it looked so cute and classic and put together so I wanted to try to kind of recreate that out. This sweater I got from Old Navy. 
Um, it's just a basic fitted black sweater, but once again, it looks cute with like some skinny black jeans and like some cute pumps or some boots. And you'll see the it's kind of a little longer in the back. So when you have tops like that, it's really easy to like tuck it in really cute and it doesn't like bunch up all weird because it's kind of already cut for you to do that. I thought this would look good with those black jagger pants that I showed you guys, like as a cute like sweatsuit to maybe travel with or um you could even throw it on with some heels because it's like fitted and cute, or you could throw it on with like some sneakers. This is a cute sweater set that I got from Express and it's just like a fitted kind of high-waisted not really you can kind of make it high-waisted but a fitted pencil skirt and then a crop top and it's simple but it's like super cute and classic I don't know like I mentioned you'll see you guys like a lot of the pieces I have here um, are really kind of basic pieces but to get the most out of your wardrobe, it's good to have a lot of basic pieces that you can mix and match with different things. Um, and I like to kind of match up like high end and low end. So there's like a few stores like you'll see here like Gap or Old Navy or Forever 21 that I can kind of mix and match with like higher end things. So you don't have to have a full outfit from head to toe that's like super expensive. You can mix and match things or you can just find like cute pieces from these stores that look um, a lot more expensive than they really are if you just put them together in the right way. This one I actually got from Target too. Um, but what I liked about this one is that the detailing on the sweater kind of like brings in your waist so it gives it kind of like a slimming effect. This I got from H&M. I think this was $10 too. And this is just like a crop sweater. But I thought it would look really cute with like a high-waisted black skirt and maybe like some um, like lace up booties or something. Next these are like the same thing I just got two different colors. Lately I have really been into these like maxi sweaters. You can dress them up, wear them with a skirt or a dress or wear them with some jeans. This is kind of like the other one but not. This one is from Express and it's much thinner and I think it's more of like a dressier type if you want to put it with like a cute fitted dress. Um, this is good to wear like these thinner ones I really like because I don't know if you guys are shaped like me you'll find that if you wear sweaters or certain things you can wear can make you look bigger than you are but when you wear something like this or like the one I just showed you guys it's a little bit thinner and you kind of have it off the shoulders like that then it kind of still shows your shape but kind of covers the back if you want that covered or it just kind of gives it a different look without making you look huge like I don't know how it looks on camera but I feel like when it fits like this and not like covering you like that then it just kind of I don't know looks cute this is like one of those boyfriend type jackets um like a little looser style denim jacket I really like how they look but I'm not sure if I love how they look on me I'm holding on to this from forever 21 it was super inexpensive but I'm trying to see how to work with it because I like the look, but like I said, I don't want it to make me look bigger than I am. So I might just kind of wear this on like a casual day, like if I'm wearing like some workout leggings and sneakers and I just want to throw like a little jacket over it. Um, or you could wear it with like a dress or like just kind of put it over your shoulders and not totally put it on. That would be really cute as well. This is another boyfriend jacket, but this is just a... Um, lighter shade of blue one and this one fits a little better I got this one in a extra small um, and it's just a really cute length it like hits the hips and it's just good to throw on with an array of outfits too I thought these were cute these were all black um, normally I see it with I think more white details on it but I love black so I thought these were really cute these shoes I got from Vince Camato they're on sale I've been looking for a pair of just like flat not flat but like simple low booties that I can like throw on casually because a lot of times I'll throw on like my combat boots um but I thought these would just be like a different look and it was cute it was on sale they have a little bit of fringe and I tried a lot of different pairs of these on and these ones look the best to me so I don't know like I just think it's it's something cute um that you can just kind of throw on and be comfortable and casual but still look put together like that's my thing I think on a day-to-day -day basis I like I gravitate to outfits that are comfortable and cute um but you still look put together without trying too hard so that's why I get like a lot of basic pieces 
Um, and then of course, you know, when you have to go to an event or travel or do something different, then that's when you can like do it all up. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I keep it pretty simple. So next, I just have a couple more things. So I feel like everything I'm showing you guys, like everything looks the same, but I promise you, it doesn't look the same. It's just, um, I don't know, I guess I have a certain kind of taste that I like right now and that's kind of the things I'm gravitating to but I mean that always changes so for now these are just what I like but these I got from I think Aldo during the Black Friday sale this is just the stuffing that's inside um yeah these are just some knee-high boots they have fringe on the back and they just look really cute with an array of outfits as well um they're comfortable and they're simple they're suede they're kind of actually and i didn't buy these at the same time bought them like weeks apart these are kind of like a high um and low version of each other these are booties and these are like knee highs but they're both really cute and as you can see like i love black i probably need to buy less black shoes because i feel like every time i get shoes i buy black but that's what i like and it goes with anything so next I just have this bag from Topshop and I got this because I was looking for a really cute bag to travel with. I really want the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the really really big one, but until then I've just been trying to find a cute bag. So it has this little, I don't know, little case with it that's really cute to kind of put your stuff in. Like you can put your passport and your tickets and anything you're using to travel with, your travel documents. I don't know, I thought it would be really cute to take with my carry-on luggage. And it has like a, I guess you would call that like crocodile kind of print. You can put it on your shoulder, or if you just want to like have somewhere to go and want to put some stuff in. I thought that was cute. Next, to this other bag I have. So, I don't, okay, there's only certain things to me that you can buy at Forever 21. Like a couple items I think I showed you guys, those look pretty good, but you had to be careful what you get there because some things can not be the best of quality. But this year I have found like several different backpacks at Fur 2 that I really like. I don't get my purses there, um, but like I said, backpacks, I found really cute ones. So I found this one and I really love the color. I actually bought this a while back in like a blush color that's really cute. But you can't wear that with everything. So when I saw this and it was like 30% off and it has black and gold and tan, I was like, that's so cute. Like, you really can't go wrong with that. Oops. You can just throw it on. Like, some days I don't feel like carrying a purse. I just want to carry a backpack and keep it simple. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are following me on Instagram and all my loves too. And follow me on threadflip.com. Um, all my loves too as well. That's a site where i post like a ton of different shoes and bags and clothes um that i just don't need anymore um i try to kind of like purge my closet every so often so i really just cleared out a bunch of stuff i recently cleared a bunch of stuff out um a ton of shoes ton of clothes bags everything and i posted some of them on there so check it out let me know if you like it let me know if there's anything on there that you see and you would like to buy um yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.